All right, good afternoon uh, to everyone, and, and thank you so much for your uh, presence here today. Uh, thank you, Mayor Benjamin, of course, our city council members that are present with us. We have Councilman McDowell with us, uh, Councilman Davis, thank you so much uh, which, for your support uh, in, in being here. We also thank you uh, to the Parks and Rec Foundation and the actual department uh, as well. I want to acknowledge uh, our city manager, Teresa Wilson, who is uh, absent today for her support and leadership as well. Uh, we are extremely um, excited about uh, for, to, to formally announce uh, the grant award of $20,000 uh, to the Parks and Rec Foundation from the Truist Foundation. Uh, the funding received will sponsor a virtual mentoring program uh, that will serve 50 City of Columbia youth ages 11 through 17 with the goals of increasing youth knowledge, skills, and understanding for the following areas. Number one, self-worth, self-esteem. Number two, health and unhealthy peer relationships, college and career readiness, uh, financial literacy, uh, money management one-on-one, -on -one, uh, the benefits of nutrition and regular exercise, and also a leadership one-on-one -on -one class. So these are areas that could, could change lives and influence positive decisions for our youth. Uh, we're looking forward to working with uh, them across the city of Columbia. Now this time, uh, please help me welcome our mayor, uh, Steve Benjamin, uh, for some remarks. Thank you, Henry, and thank you, Mike, for leading the applause. I appreciate that. <laughs> Um, it's it's always wonderful to, to be here, particularly here on on, on Busby Street, um, with with my two uh, dear friends and, and brothers, uh, Sam Davis and, and Ed McDowell. Th this space, as many of you may know, as you get up and down Farrow Road, this, this is kind of disputed territory as of whether or not this is District One or District Two. Uh, they 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 debate it uh, uh, depending on what the occurrence is, uh, but there's a commitment uh, to uh, continuing to invest. Uh, not just in the in the physical uh, infrastructure, but the people, uh, the amazingly talented and gifted and proud people who make up this uh, community. Uh, in order to do that, particularly in the most um, in the wealthiest and most powerful uh, nation in the history of the world, it requires strong partnerships. Uh, partnerships between the public sector, the private sector, the philanthropic. Uh, sector and the leadership that's been um, ongoing in our Department of Parks and Rec for years, the support uh, that's been given to them by our Parks and Rec Foundation and the wonderful partnerships they've been able to build uh, with incredible um, uh, world-class organizations like Truist, uh, particularly these types of investments in, into our children, into our, our young children. We know uh, all very well that opportunity may know zip codes, but, but, but talent and, and, and um, ability uh, does not. So if we invest um, in these young people, our babies, uh, it's amazing um, what we will see uh, come of them. So it was important, I, I know for me and for Ed and Sam uh, to be here and to say thank you to, to, to Mike and, and, and Chris uh, for the uh, commitment of Truist uh, to, to this incredible uh, community. Uh, um, Henry, Randy, the whole team, um, just thank you all so much for your, your constant stewardship and thank you so much to the incredible Parks and Rec Foundation, uh, the, the leadership and, and this, this this breath of new and fresh air that we see coming into the into the foundation that will inure to the benefit of our of our children, um, supported by uh, these wonderful gifts from Truist, uh, couldn't be um, couldn't be more appreciated. Uh, now I'm gonna um, I know, we, I know we, the program has Mike coming up next, but I, I, I sense my, my my two colleagues back here. I can I can hear them now. Now one one is a preacher and one's a preacher's kid. <laughs> I'm not sure how, what you can read into any of that. One will have you pass in the hat uh, by the time it's over. Um, but did, did you all want to say something briefly? You want to say something real quick? Uh, uh, um, yeah. Mr. McDowell, Mayor, Mayor Pro Tem, and, uh, and, I, and, I, and, I, and a senior member of council, Sam Davis, quick word for Mike Sheets. Isn't it wonderful to have an organization, and yet Mike and Chris to come representing this bank and of course the foundation. The wonderful things that are going to be done, the powerful things that enraptures all of us. Remember, this grant is for children. For 11 through 17, it enraptures possibilities 
and the kind of zeal and zest that our kids need to be a part of. So Mike, thank you very much. We thank this foundation and the $20,000 because we we're going to do so well with this $20,000. Next year, we're looking for 35, amen. <laughs> But I'm, I'm in the cleanup spot in terms of giving thanks. And uh, the, the foundation is typical of the partnerships that we've put together over the years uh, with Parks and Rec. Um, the um, city foundation is responsible for the construction of the relatively new Greenview Gym. That's an example of what these types of gifts and, and uh, par partnerships have done over the years. And so um, I, to work with the young people at this point in time in our experience and history uh, is very important. Um, a, a number of them are um, not shut-ins, but they're not able to do a, a lot of the things that, that they normally would be doing, and especially those um, nearing graduation and those that um, would normally be doing work now at school. So to help fill that gap and to help develop skills, there's a deep appreciation for this. And um, as Ed has said, uh, we look forward to a continued relationship. And we will, not only will we pass the plate to you, <laughs> we're going to do our part to contribute. That's so, right. so thank you. Further ado, uh, Mike Brennan, the South Carolina Regional President, Jewish Bank. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and thank you, brother. And uh, what a joy it is to be here uh, with all of you today. This is an amazing uh, facility out here, and I assume that amazing things are going on in this facility out here. And we couldn't be more proud to make an investment in one of the most important parts of our community, and that's the youth of our community. Any time that we can invest in their reading skills, their financial understanding skills, their skills of self-worth and self-esteem, it's a good day. So, Councilman McDowell, I know it's just $20,000, but I think you've already laid down the <laughs> challenge for 35 next year, so I'm going I'm to get to I'm going to get to work on that with with our foundation, right. but right. at truest our purpose is pretty simple, to inspire and build better lives and community. That's why we do what we do as a bank. And this is a great uh, investment that I think will inspire and build better lives and, and a community. And when BB&T and SunTrust decided to merge, we told the world that we would be better together and we believe that we are. But that also applies to this partnership between Parks and Recreation, the City of, of Columbia, and, and Randy, and, and the entire group out here, that I think between Truist and Parks and Recreation and the City of Columbia, that we are better together. So this is a great day in Columbia. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you all so much for your for your comments. I, I do want to acknowledge um, Ms. Talaria Jackson, who is the uh, Vice President of the Residents and Family Services that's here. Uh, they partner with us uh, from the Columbia Housing Authority. So thank you so much, Ms. Jackson, for, for being with us uh, on today. Um, also want to thank uh, Mr. David Jackson, who's with uh, Riston School District 1. They also partners, partnered with us on this effort. So, so thank you so much for your partnership and all that that you all do as well. And thank, again, the Truist Foundation for uh, these efforts. Um, you know, we, we, we think about all the work that's, that's being done by the City of Columbia, Risen School District 1, the Columbia Housing Authority, as well as our partnership with Truist, as well as the Parks and Rec Foundation. And it's just, just an amazing opportunity to see the work actually come to life and see how this will also impact uh, our young people in our communities all across the city. So we're grateful. Uh, for this opportunity, grateful for the partnerships, and we look forward uh, to future endeavors uh, going into next year. So thank you all so much uh, for being here. 
Uh, we are going to take some photos after this. So we're, we're prepared with our PR team uh, to do so. And I'll uh, just thank you so much for your presence on today. All right, God bless you. Hello, my name is Ed McDowell and I'm the council, council person for District 2. We come to celebrate today uh, the granting of funds from the Truist Foundation. Of course, the Truist Foundation, of course, has granted funds for virtual mentoring program. The program consists of 50 youth and, of course, entertaining and grappling with the issues of young folk and their ability to look at issues like self-worth, career opportunities. 50 youth will meet on a bi-weekly basis to look at and to strategize the opportunities that are out there for them. This grant of $20,000 will enable this virtual reality to take place. We have a community development manager in South Carolina. His name's Matt. And Matt just looks for connections throughout the state where we can invest in things that we think fulfill our purpose as, as a company. And you heard me say, inspire and building better lives and communities. And this was an investment he brought to us and said, this accomplishes that and that's why we need to do it. When we merged the two banks together, and I think you heard me say that we said we were gonna be better together, which enabled us to, to do more and be more. And that included the creation of the Truist Foundation to make these kind of investments. And every time we partner with somebody in the community, I like to say we're better together also. So Truist in the city of Columbia and Parks and Recreation are better together. Well, you know, with, with, the, with the, uh, the program that they'll be promoting, um, every, every kid in this area and beyond, for that matter, will, will benefit. Um, you know, this facility is an example of the um, of, of 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 a not a shelter, but a but a an environment and a facility that can facilitate. I think the kinds of programs, training, projects um, that that will come through the program, and so it's um, it, it's an added amenity uh, for this corridor and, and for the neighbor, neighborhoods in the immediate area. Of course, it's not limited to, to just the kids in this area, but throughout the city. But it, it's an opportunity for people to come uh, look, view this facility. It's a state-of-the-art facility, and that's, I think, very important if you're looking at you know, training and, and skills development for young people. We're talking about taking every opportunity to transform the lives of, of these incredibly talented young people uh, in Columbia. We know that they're gifted uh, and that more time and effort and resources we pour into them, the more we'll get out of them. And these partnerships are so important to making that happen. The government can do a lot, but the government can only do so much. It takes the time, talents and treasures of individuals and, and, and companies and everyone else. So this gift from Truist is, is, is so important and we're thankful for it. You know, some of our children obviously are still learning remotely. Uh, and and, and uh, it's, it's not been optimal for so many of our, of our, of our, um, of these amazingly gifted children. So having the efforts to be able to do this in person, but also be able to do it remotely, virtual mentoring, um, it's crucial right now. We're, we're, we're coming out of the greatest pandemic since 1918, uh, the greatest economic disruption uh, since uh, um, 1932, and you know, and all the social unrest, uh, the greatest probably since 1968. And these amazingly talented young people have had to work their way through it without the skill sets or experience or resources that we have. Um, so it's that much more crucial that this investment be made now and these partnerships be forged.